Unit 6, page 59. Talk about the topic. Part B. Learn the strategies. I'd heard of the Silk Road before, but I had no idea it was so complicated. I mean, my notes look like a page from a math book. Right. Oh, mine too. So, can we go over some of these dates? I mean, I think I got the general idea that China wanted goods from Europe and Europe wanted goods from China, and therefore the Silk Road was developed. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. I have that the route was used from about 100 BC to 1400 CE. So it was in use for about 1500 years and it was about 5,000 miles long altogether, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So do you guys think the Silk Road is famous because of the goods traded? Or is it historic because of the cultural exchange that happened? The Romans wanted luxury items from China, right? Especially the silk. Mm -hmm. So, essentially, it was about trade, right? Mm -hmm. well, yeah, that, I mean, that's factually correct, but I think something deeper was going on. You know, I mean, cultures were mixing. Oh, yeah, like uh, Central Asian traders. They had a very important job, like being a middleman. Yeah, exactly. Without them, the whole exchange of goods wouldn't have happened. And it was probably a pretty dangerous job, too. I mean, if you think about it, they had to go out and communicate with people from different cultures, with different languages, and had to exchange goods with them. I mean, that must have been pretty risky. Kind of like business people today, trying to make money and survive. Yeah, I guess not that much has changed in the past 2,000 years. <laughs> <laughs>